What's going on everybody, it's Carmine from Barmine Tech, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up a Proxmox HA cluster. We're going to be using replication jobs and a, a cluster of course to have the high availability for our cluster so we can fail over or migrate as needed. Now we're going to be using replication jobs to keep this on a budget, so I actually picked up three Mac minis from 2012 about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And I've been working on figuring out how to get this to work the best way. The Mac Minis unfortunately only have one hard drive slot, which is fine. I didn't want to go on and add USB drives to every single Mac Mini. And I tried using it with like a SMB or CIFS share, but the latency across the network is so slow, either the job would just fail out or just really wasn't the best option. That's when I found out about the replication jobs for the cluster, and it seems to work really well, so that's what we're going to be doing today. This isn't the only method to do HA. It's not the best way probably to do HA, but it works, especially if you're on a budget like I am. So let's get right into it. So just to demo what we're doing, I am running the latest version of Proxmox. I'm running 8.3.0. If you recall last video that I did when I did the updates on Proxmox, I was mentioning how I was working on this and we were running some issues, but I got most of them sorted out, I believe, and we're all good. So just to demo out how the HA works, we're gonna simulate a node going offline or failing out. So you can see right now that this container 100 is over here in Mac Mini 3. And I'm just going to come over here and power down Mac Mini 3. Now they are in a cluster. They're also have to work together. So when it does detect that the node goes offline, it's going to let it know to the cluster. And then it's going to work to migrate that CT out. So you can see over here it got a new gear. And you can see over here we got the little paper airplane so this right now is migrating this machine out because it marked this node into maintenance or some sort of down period you can see the container is no longer under mac mini 3 and it's going to bump up here to mac mini 1 so it's offline currently and it's going to power up and then we'll be all set to use it so we'll just give it a second to finish the process we can see down here in the logs that it's starting the container up here it's up now and if I come into the console, I can I can log in, and it's online, and I can ping Google. So this is all set. This is how the HA is going to work out. So pretty much this is our end goal, what we're going to be working on today. So that's enough of the talk about. Let's get right into the project. So to start off, I just want to talk about my hardware. So like I said, I picked up these Mac minis. Um, they're, they're a little big, so you can see... It's a good size PC, but it's around the same size as the mini PC. I got these because these are the model from 2012. They have Intel based chips, so they would work with Proxmox. Pretty much, I saw the new M4 Mac Mini came out. The hype was really real about it. Me and my coworker were talking about it, talking about it. I kind of wanted a Mac Mini. I thought it was a fun project to do, and I found these really cheap on eBay. So I got three Mac Minis and the power cables for about $175. And it works really well these are low power machines they're pretty good performing these only have 8 gigs of ram currently but they are upgradable so i figured this would make a perfect little mini proxmox cluster especially it being pretty affordable so i'm going to hook this back up and we're going to get into this video more so the prereqs for this project is going to be that you need a proxmox cluster it doesn't need anything else fancy set up it just needs to have three nodes clustered already together you do need three nodes if you have two it's not going to work properly because quorum can't be created amongst two nodes really it, it kind of works but it doesn't work so you're going to need three nodes if you want to do real ha availability in the cluster and have a real cluster other than that you're going to need proxmox set up and up to date and make sure you know you have your normal setup going we'll have a video in the description as well as a car in the corner of how to set up a proxmox cluster because we're not really going to be talking about that today we're only going to be talking about the ha and setting that part up and so when you're setting up your Proxmox and nodes, you're going to need to set up the disks to use ZFS. We're going to be using ZFS because it allows for replication. LVMs don't, so that's why we're going to be using ZFS. In your Proxmox installer, when you're setting up your disk options, you could actually specify if you want to use ZFS 0, 1, whatever it is. My machines only have one disk, so I'm using ZFS 0 or RAID 0, whatever they call it. I'm doing that, again, like I said, so ZFS allows the replication between the nodes and the cluster. So that's why we're using ZFS for this project. So like I said over here, you can see I have my local ZFS on every machine. So that's all set up. So now what we could do is actually build out a container to test with and get it working. So I'm going to come over to my local. I'm just going to download a container template really quick. So we'll just do Debian 11. 
This will download pretty quickly. You can see it's all set up. So now we're going to come over here and I'm going to work on my second node. I'm going to create a container. We're going to call it HA demo. I'm going to give it a password. Now I'm just using containers because they're smaller. They're a little bit easier to work with. You can of course be doing this with a VM, but normally a VM is pretty large and to set up a VM for me takes quite a bit of time because it just does. Um, so we're not going to be working with that right now. I'm just working with containers. Like I said, it's easier. We're going to click next. I'm just going to finish this up. And we're going to click DHCP to give it an IP just so I can test it. We're all set. And we're going to start it up and we're going to let this build out. So we'll be right back after this container is all set up. So now we can see that the task is okay. The container is built. And over here, you can see I have HA demo. If I come into here, it just wants to get a fingerprint. That's fine. And now we should be able to log in. So you can see I have root and my password. Here we go. We have a working container. And you can see I can ping out so it is working properly. So now this is all set up. Now this is going to be our test container that we're going to work with on making it highly available. So what we're going to do is we're going to be clicked onto the actual container. And you can see if we come over here to replication, we're going to make replication jobs. We're going to do replication jobs so it mimics the storage of this container to the other nodes. Since we're not using like a, a SAN or some sort of network storage shared between the three of them. We need to share this, the storage of the container somehow else. So this works well if you have decent sized hard drives, like each one of these nodes have about 500 gigs. I'm not gonna be working with anything big on this cluster, so it'll work out well. But since again, we're only working with one hard drive in a node, this seems to be the most effective way to do it, especially on the budget. So we're gonna set replication jobs. So each node will have a copy of the machine. So I'm just gonna come over here to replication. We're gonna come up to add, and now we're gonna leave everything pretty much default. We're gonna click create. And then we're going to add one more time. And now we're just going to change the target to the other node. So I'm working off a of node two. So I want node one and three to have the replication jobs because of course, node two will already have it because the, the machine is on there. I'm going to click create. So now over here, we get to see, we have two replication jobs for 101. So you can see, I have my two targets. The status is okay. And it's pens in a sync. So I'm going to see if it's going to run and if not you can just click schedule now if it doesn't run automatically so we can just cl click that and it'll start to actually begin the replication job and when it's all done it'll just have some information over here so when it's all done we'll be right back so now over here we can see that there's some information populated so our replication jobs actually have ran you can see that it gives me the date and time when it ran how long it took and when the next one's going to be the defaults to run every 15 minutes. You can change this if you need. Probably will work unless you have something really intensive going on in certain containers that the information updates more rapidly you might need. And if then you can change the sync time to whatever you might need. But this will work for me. So now what we can do is come over to our other nodes and we can click local ZFS. And if we come over to CT volumes, you can see I have subvol 101. So this is actually this container over here, 101, being replicated over to this other disk on the other node. It's going to be the same thing on the main node where the container is built off of. And if we come over to node 3, we have the same thing. So it's now shared across all three of the nodes in the cluster, or replicated, however you want to call it. So if something was to happen, each node already has a copy of this machine and they could spin it back up. So now that every node has the sub ball, we're pretty good to start up with the HA. So now there's two ways to set up HA on the actual containers or machines. You need to set it up on a machine basis. So you can either do it off of the actual container or VM. You can come up to more. Make sure that you have your machine or container highlighted or selected that you want to put HA on. You can click more, come up to manage HA. And you can pretty much leave the default fields. The request state over here is going to be what it detects and how you how it will turn the machine back on. So started will work fine for us. So we're just going to leave it default. So I'm going to click add. It's not going to show like the HA settings on the actual machine or on the node. So what you're going to do is come up to data center at the top, and then over here there'll be HA. Now over here you can see that there is container 101. It's started, and it's going to say what it is. So this means now that this container has HA set on it. The second way that you can add an HA option is this right through here. So if you're on data center and HA, 
you can see there's an add button and then here you would be able to select an unused vm or container and then set it the same way but i don't have any more so we can't the next thing we need to do is in data center again come over to options and we just need to change the ha settings right here so what this is going to do is actually make it that if one of the nodes in the cluster goes down it's actually going to migrate that machine off and put it onto another machine so the shutdown policy over here i changed mine to migrate there are other options if you want to read through them and see if something works better for you but migrate is going to be the one that actually pushes it off to another machine and gets it running again for you so it's going to make it so it's actually highly available so now we're all set and what we're going to do is simulate the ha by turning off this second node so i'm just going to come over here and click shut down and it should cause the node to fail out. It's gonna detect it in the cluster, and what it's gonna do is gonna move this container over to another machine. So we can see the node just went into the wrench or the maintenance state. So it's detected in the cluster that it's off, and you can see over here, we have the paper airplane now in the container. So that means it's migrating my container out to another machine. I actually just bumped it up here to node one. It's powering it back on, and it also states everything down here in the log. So you can see it there as well. So it successfully migrated it, it gives us the log, and moved it over. So now we just gotta give it a minute for it to power back online. You can tell now that node 2 is completely down, it's not gonna work in the cluster anymore. And we just gotta give it a minute for it to power back on the container because it is gonna do it automatically for us because it's gonna make it highly available. So once this is all powered up, we'll be right back. So this one was a little delayed, it did take about another minute or so. But it did come online and you can see now i can log in and i'll just log in one more time and you can see it still has all my commands because all it did was move the machine from one node to the other so it's not like it rebuilt it or anything else it's the same machine that i was just working with and i can come over here and ping google again and everything's working just fine so this all worked and now this is how ha works in a proxmox cluster it just moves it over and makes it available now what I'll show you is what happens when I turn the node back on. So I'm just going to turn the second node back on. It's going to take probably about 30 seconds to power up, but then we'll see it come back online in here. And it should migrate this back to the primary node for this container. So once Proxmox sees that this node is online, it'll start working and I'll show you that. So I just refreshed my page because I know my node's coming online. So you can actually see it saying it's in the maintenance stage which is fine. It's just powering back online. Now it has the green checks. So everything's good. Now, depending on how Proxmox is working with the cluster, it might move this container back over and you can see it is. It's going to actually send it back to the primary node for either the cluster or the container. I'm not sure how exactly it determines that. But yeah, you can see, so it moved it back over to Mac Mini 2 because that was the node that it was built off of. So it, that worked out. It's going to restart my container and everything's gonna be working. So that's how we set up HA. That's how we make it work in a simple cluster. Again, this was just a budget-friendly option of using replication, so we could just use the hardware we have. One more thing I will show you is, now that we have our cluster, if you do wanna just migrate a machine, you can. There's two methods to do it. You could either right-click on the container and do migrate, or when you're selected on your machine, you can come up to the top right, and there's a migrate button as well. Over here, it'll pop up with a menu, and it's just going to ask which node you want to send it to. So if I want to send it to the node 1, we could do that. It's going to start the HA. It's going to request the migration. It's going to say task OK. We can close that out, and now it's going to work on shutting down this container and begin the migration. So you can see over here in the log that's showing it, it has the paper airplane again next to the container, and now it should pop up on node 1. There it is, and now it's going to work on getting it back online for us. So the migration process is pretty simple. It is going to depend on your network speeds as well. I do know that some people, when they make up a cluster, that they put it on its own switch. So it has its own kind of network in a sense to work off of. It's not going to make several hops to try to get back to the cluster. You see it moved this container over. So if I go into the console, everything's up and working. And you see I have my old commands again, I can ping out. So that's just how if you want to migrate something off, let's say you need to do maintenance on this node, you can move the machines off and send it to another node in the cluster to do those updates. So that's how we set up HA on a Proxmox cluster. 
like i said this is just one way to do it the replication jobs make it so we don't need additional hard drives we don't need ceph we don't need some sort of network storage to use it makes that we can just keep everything on the nodes that we already have and the hardware that came with it or whatever you might have in it now if you do have additional hardware you could do ceph if you have you know two or three hard drives in a node if you have some sort of nas or san or whatever you might be running the data store something like that you could use that as well and you could do it over cifs but the idea here is that we were able to make an ha proxmox cluster for under 200 dollars, at least for the hardware i have there's a ton of other hardware out there that you could probably find cheaper you could achieve the same goal with that hardware as well but that's how we set up ha and this might be a topic we hit on in the future a little bit more depends on if i get different hardware or not but yeah that's pretty much for ha so that's about it as always i'll have links to all the gear in my home lab below if you're ever interested in checking any of it out and getting it for yourself I have a link to the Discord server if you want to join up. And other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.